Hi, this is Rich. Thanks so much for watching. This is WB5YBZ. I'm in Oklahoma City. I've just uh, wired, a, like strung a new delta loop up for my 80 meter delta loop. And it's good for 10 through 80 meters. Uh, now on the Warwick bands, you probably will need a uh, external antenna tuner. And also on the, maybe the FM portion of 10 meter band. At the first delta loop was cut to about 3.650. This one's cut to 3.550. So it really helps out in the harmonics. I'll show you that on the, the computer. If you could give me a thumbs up, I sure would appreciate it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I mostly talk anymore, mostly on ham radio or metal detecting. However, in the summer, this old man just doesn't do the heat, so I don't go out metal detecting because I'll just be like a wilted dandelion, and that's no fun. <laughs> Let's go on over to the computer. Well, since I'm close to the ground, according to my friend John, N5ID, it's best to use a 2.5 to 1 ballon. Now, the frequency is also, I mean the frequency, the formula is a little bit different instead of 10,005 divided by the frequency in megahertz, we're using 936 divided by the frequency in megahertz for a 2.5 to one ballon. I was wanting to cut the loop close to 3.550 megahertz because the harmonics on the other bands uh, just works out great. Okay, so what I did is I, took 936 divided by the th frequency that I wanted was 3.550 and was at uh, 200, 263, almost 64 feet. Now the SWR was actually about, on my old antenna, was 3.650. I mean, that's where it was resident, the lowest SWR. And it's probably because I'm touching a couple of trees. Uh, Anyway, uh, I added another, I guess it was about another seven, six feet, I made it 270 feet, just to experiment around to maybe make it into that area. Well, the theory is behind this. On the second harmonic for, the, for this is uh, I multiplied my frequency that I cut it to times two and it should be, in theory, the lowest SWR around 7, 100 megahertz. The fourth harmonics, four times the resident frequency for 80 meters, was 14.2 megahertz, which would be really good on this portion of the band for uh, sideband. On the sixth harmonic, this time six is 21.3 megahertz, which is great. And on the eighth harmonics, it comes up with 28.4 megahertz. So all in all, in theory, this should work great. I just sort of wanted to show you how my antenna is. First of all, I'm, I'm, the red dots, this is a birdhouse here on a 24 foot pole. I have a uh, coax going around my fence line on the inside and it, I have a hole cut in with a little grommet that I run my coax up to the top to the birdhouse that has the 2.1 a 2.5 to 1 ballon. Over here I run across here to the corner of the yard and I have another birdhouse that's a real birdhouse <laughs> and I have an insulator up there that I have screwed up uh, screwed in there and then the wire goes up here over the house, the house is about 25 feet to the peak, and it's about a foot above it. It goes up here to about 35, 38 feet high, and then back to the bird house where the feed point is. Now it touches a little bit in this tree, and it touches a little bit in this tree, which would drive down, I think, this, or make the SWR different. With a little help from my drone, this is the birdhouse that has my ballon in it. The coax is coming up through the pole there, 
I have one wire from the birdhouse going to the right and one, bird, one wire from the birdhouse going to the left. So if you look, you can see the wire and it's going up to the tree up there where I have an insulator. I'm using a, the wire, uh, a string, and using a tree as a, as a pulley to pull up my wire or my insulator. And I think you'll be able to see it if I get close enough. There's my insulator. So from that insulator, and you see the trees can touch it a little bit. Some of the leaves and the limbs touch it just a little bit. If you look here at the very top of the tree, the, the closest tree that you see is a little tree in my backyard. And there's the birdhouse as the wire goes over the tree and touches the tree, which has effect on the SWR there. I imagine, even though it's insulated, but it goes to that birdhouse right over there. You can see the antenna wire, I'll try to still shot here, going into the tree there and then up over my roof. But I just sort of wanted to show you how, how it was uh, sort of going from the birdhouse up over the roof, uh, but it is t definitely touching the tree there. Well, there you have it. There's the other wire going to the back to the ballon where the birdhouse is and it's coming from the other corner where the other birdhouse is without the ballon. Adding another six feet to my antenna made a big difference. Of course being in the tree or touching the trees make it a difference as well but I'm pretty close to uh, resident frequency around 3.550 looks like that's for 80 meters. The MFJ uh, SWR analyzers, I think I had it at 3.550 and it was 1.6 there as well, but I moved the frequency a little bit. And look at this. Remember the second harmonic was about 7.1? Well, it looks like it's pretty close to that. I'm really tickled about that. So that worked out really good for 40 meters. Now on 20, we wanted it to be about, I think it was 14.2. Uh, and if you look at this, 14.2, uh, well, it's got what about 1.7, something like that, SWR. And, uh, but still, not too bad. The 7300 internal antenna tuner should be able to handle that. Now, this is what's surprising. Look at 15 meters. It's hardly even moving the SWR. It, I mean, the upper part of the general portion of the band is just flat as can be. And that is surprising to me. It's, it's just am amazing to me. Now, let's go on over to uh, 10 meters because 10 meters is a little bit different. 10 meters, it looks like it's about Oh, maybe about 1.7 or 8. Uh, and that's right around the calling frequency. Well, it's not around the calling frequency. Uh, 28.4 is the calling frequency, but it's pretty flat as far as 1.7 to 1.8, I would imagine, in that range. So you can't beat that. Well, you could if it was lower, I guess. But... Still not bad, and your antenna tuner, internal antenna tuner on the 7300 would work fine on that. Well, there you have it. Wasn't that sort of fun? I just want to show you how it sort of had it strung up, um, how I calculated everything. And, you know, it really wasn't far from the calculations as far as uh, the frequency. However, I did have to, I mean, as far as the harmonics of the frequency. Adding that little six foot made a big difference as far as where I wanted the frequency to be resonant. And it, it worked out really good for um, 10 through 80 meters. Now on the work bands, you'll still have to use an external antenna tuner, but with the 7300 and the internal antenna tuner, 10 through 80 minus the, forgetting the work bands, work great as far as doing that. I have a little less noise than I would in my than I had on my infed, which is good. And also I have a lot more gain. If you look at gain 
for an 80 meter full wave loop, of course this is delta loop, for a full wave loop for uh, using it for 10 meters, Look what it says, or even 20 meters. Look what it says, how much gain you have. Of course, I think it has some lobes on it, but all in all, man, it's a great antenna. Again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.